Governor David Ige has the first full-fledged controversy of his administration. His decision to nominate developer Carlton Ching as head of the state land board is still coming under fire. KITV Force Catherine Cruz shows us it will come to a head next week. Governor Ige congratulated his newest cabinet members, the directors and deputies of the Departments of Transportation and Hawaiian Homelands. Those appointments sail through easily. No such luck with former Castle and Cook executive Carlton Ching. At last count, testimony was running 9 to 1 against him. Senator Laura Thielen wants to give voice to the public's concerns. She intends to begin posting the testimony online well before the Wednesday hearing. We ask nominees a number of questions in writing uh, as well as get their resume, so we will be posting that information on Monday. There have been other controversial nominations before, but Thielen says historically, in many of those cases, the governor has withdrawn the nominee's name. But Governor Ige doesn't seem to be backing down. Ige points to Ching's executive experience and integrity. He has uh, dealt with um, bringing communities together to discuss. Um, very difficult issues and resolving it in a way that allows communities to move forward. And I think that that's a very important um, a trait that I was looking for. In Withdrawing could spare a nominee public embarrassment. Governor Neil Abercrombie withdrew Genevieve Salmonson's name after environmental groups objected to her being named to head the Office of Environmental Quality Control. Judge Mike Wilson sat through an uncomfortable hearing, but he was confirmed to the Hawaii Supreme Court. But there were other nominations that were rejected outright by the Senate. Among those on the list, judicial nominee Catherine Leonard, attorney Ted Hong, and former state attorney general Marjorie Bronster. One senator has called for Ching's name to be withdrawn, citing his lack of experience. Thielen, who's an environmental attorney and a former land board chair, plans to look Ching straight in the eye. I don't think it's fair for me to hold him to a standard of somebody who's been in the job because that's, that you wouldn't expect somebody going into a job to know that level of detail. But you certainly would expect him to understand some very fundamental core values about the department and its role. Catherine Cruz, KITV 4 News.